Right now is the sweet spot for selling this specific print-on-demand product that is almost as popular, get this, as print-on-demand t-shirts, the number one bestseller in terms of usage, in terms of customer demand. Some of you guys know what I'm talking about. Others, well, there's no need to bury the lead. I'm talking about cell phone cases because the new iPhone becomes available on September 19th. What do you know? That's tomorrow. And the new Google Pixel phone for the Android people, it already was released on August 28th. So people are shopping for new phone cases right now more so than probably at any other point in the year other than maybe Christmas and the, the fourth quarter holiday sales rush. Now I'm gonna show you how we can use AI to make incredibly, really nicely designed, I don't even know where I'm going with this, uh, phone cases very easily. Wait until you see what I have to show you. The first thing I did is, we're gonna do it custom, all right? Now you don't have to offer this, but I said, what is realistically the easiest way I can make a phone case sale today or tomorrow if you think a bunch of people that buy iPhones are gonna need new phone cases. So I went to Pexels and I just grabbed a photo. If you guys didn't know Pexels, uh, they were acquired by Canva. Photographers upload their work into basically the public domain here. And so I'm not actually selling this girl's photo, I'm just using it for this video, but pretend that she placed an order, sent me her photo, and now I'm gonna turn this into a phone case, okay? This is just like offering customization on Amazon or Etsy. The next thing I did, so all I did is I used uh, my trusty screenshot app called Lightshot that I have installed on my computer. I took a screenshot of her face and I came back here to Google AI Studio with Nano Banana. I pasted it and I said, create a cartoon graphic of this person's head against a solid white color background. Remove the background of the original photo. That's the prompt, all right? If you still haven't started integrating AI into your print-on-demand business, it's time, okay? Early on, I didn't understand why people made such a big deal about prompts, like as if there were like the secret, like the magical secret to being able to do this correctly. The reality is it's pretty forgiving. If you don't get what you like as an output, you just say, hey, well, okay, I need you to change this, change that, you know? Don't be scared of prompting. It, it can be very simple these days. And look at the result. <laughs> Nano Banana is insane. It did exactly what I asked it to do. It made an incredible cartoon, if you ask me. I mean, this is the original photo and that's what it came up with. I think we just created a happy theoretical customer. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. And it was no more complicated than what I just showed you. Screenshot, paste, create a cartoon graphic, put it against a white color background, remove the original background from the photo. That's it. It took maybe 10 seconds to generate this output. 10.5 seconds, it actually shows you. Okay, thank you Google for, not, <laughs> for making me look good. Then I pulled it into Photoshop. I simply removed the background using the magic wand. You don't have to use Photoshop if you don't want to. You can use Canva, you can use Kittle, you can use remove.bg. There's a million ways to remove a background. And then get this, jump over into Printify. I went to their catalog. I clicked phone cases. So let me just refresh, go to catalog on the left-hand side. Under accessories, the first link right here is phone cases. I click that. By the way, if you guys aren't on Printify yet, use the link in the, in the description below this video, create a free account, and then use the code to get a free month of Printify Premium so you get maximum profits when you make orders. Now, there are many phone cases available, different types. You've got, let's just kind of look at a few, clear silicone phone cases, uh, phone skins kind of textured there, uh, phone case with a card holder. We've done this before where we talk about the click on grip. That's like an accessory for phone cases. So you might actually wanna add this as an upsell, it's something worth considering, slim case, colorful cases, uh, biodegradable cases, magnetic cases, the vegan wallet, we did a video on that in the past, clear cases, et cetera. You guys get the point. There's a ton to choose from, but this one right here, the best seller, just called Tough Cases. If you click that, check this out. They have the new iPhone 17 series models available. So it's already available. You can tap this market, this existing demand for yeah, I mean, you guys already know. I'm sure you have people in your life that are addicted to getting the new iPhone as soon as it's available. Well, the, the number of people looking for a case for that new phone is gonna spike by the time you see this video, basically. So get on it, you know what I mean? They've got great mock-ups, by the way. This is just a preview of all the mock-ups that are available to us. If you decide to sell phone cases through Printify, I mean, these look great. Uh, and then down here, you can see the shipping starts at $4.39. The fulfillment price starts at $14.16, but here's the thing. If you use the code in the description when you sign up for Printify, 
it goes down from $14.16 to $10.73. Significant savings, which by the way, you can pass that on as a discount to your customer to make it more appealing so that it's more likely they purchase from you, just saying. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and click start designing and check this out. This is where it gets super cool. What I'm gonna do is, remember that image that we had Google AI Studio with Nano Banana Create? Love this. Well, I already uploaded it, so I'm gonna go to my library. I'm gonna click and add it. Now, we could theoretically just make a giant face and offer this, and maybe you offer different design styles in a single listing. I just wanted to show you guys, it can be this simple. You can just add the big cartoon head, but what I was thinking is more realistic, just based on my experience, is I'm gonna make it even smaller, and then what I'm gonna do is move myself from the video recording, maybe to the other side of the screen. I'm gonna hit where it says create pattern, enable, and then what I'm gonna do is brick horizontal. Okay, and then I might add some spacing, maybe like 10% horizontal, 10% vertical. I think that looks really cool. And then again, I love the fact that we can preview these in the top right corner here in Printify. I always like to do this because as many years as I've been doing this, guys, I still make mistakes. I still forget that when you're selling all over print, sometimes you have to like add the pattern to every single part of the shirt or whatever product you're selling. So I would just get in the habit, click preview in the top right corner. It takes a couple seconds and then you've got the mock-ups here now basically confirming that our design looks great. Uh, you can see it takes a minute because when you click the thumbnail in the top right corner, it has to generate the full um, high resolution mock-up. By the way, look how beautiful that looks. That look, thing looks real. Uh, it's even got like the, <laughs> the gloss on the sides there. Um, so I'm loving how this looks. If you guys weren't aware, you can also change the background color by just clicking right there, that drop down, and whatever background color you think will look good, you know, and I imagine the, this is just an input you would get from your customer. Make sure they're aware, hey, you can sell this in yellow, you can sell it in red, green, blue, really whatever color they might like. Uh, and then don't forget to click select variants and you can go ahead and select all, well, actually there's a limit. I think if you tried to send all these to Etsy, it may run into an issue. Yeah, so Printify is gonna prevent you from enabling every single type of phone. So you might wanna actually go through and manually select all of the different um, phone models specifically that you wanna offer. Before I wrap the video, what do you say we give this one more shot just so you know that I am not fibbing that it is this simple. I just screenshotted that guy here on Pexels and I'm just gonna copy the prompt that I used before. <laughs> That's it. I'm gonna hit run. Give me a 10 second timer on the video. And that, by the way, that's one of the biggest things that sets Nano Banana AI apart from the rest is it is the fastest, most efficient that I've used yet. And it's by a long shot. So check that out. It's got the car cartoonized graphic of this guy jumping through the sky. And I mean, tell me that's not spot on. So we go ahead, we download this, we remove the background, and then we've got a new phone case. That's it. You saw how easily I did that. It took... 30 seconds or less, Nano Banana in Google's AI Studio, which by the way, I wasn't even logged in. What I just showed you, I did that for free. I'm not even logged in in this browser, the one that I use to record these videos. So I'm gonna drop a link to Printify. I'm gonna drop a link to Google AI Studio with Nano Banana. Check it out. I don't know, did I forget anything else? I mean, it really is that simple. Hopefully you're excited to get started. Give it a shot. Let me know if you have any questions or comments in the description, and I'll see you guys with another new video.